this right here is a huge public service announcement, but for anyone who lives in Australia, like who has chemist warehouse and all that, people probably would know this little infamous little brand called INC. So now INC is literally like that whole like Musashi of Woolies and all that stuff, but essentially I just decided to get this because this was cheap and it was only like what, 35 for 30 servings, which is like your classic pre-workout, a bit more expensive, but it's what this insane thing does is that it's got so much sheer amount of beta alanine and caffeine, the two things that you would want to extract out of a pre-workout, that when I took it the first time and I just took a normal serving, I started getting tingly again, the same as like what Total War would do, which is like a $70 pre-workout. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you see this at Canvas Warehouse and if you work out, there is no reason why you would want to turn away from this INC Pre-Workout Plus which is in pretty dust watermelon flavor, but that's okay because they haven't released too many yet. But this is a new concoction that literally blows everything out of the water right now for like the $30 for 30 servings range. Damn, I just spilled some water on the phone. Recently, it's, it's actually pretty bright out even though like it's pretty late and all. But recently I've actually been waking up real early, like around 6. Because I'm trying to shift to this whole waking up early thing. Now for like work and uni and all that. And it's been really good. So like right now I'm a bit late, 7.55am. So it's almost 8. But you know, I'm going to leave around maybe 8.15 for gym. If, you know, nothing crops up. But I'm pretty glad that I've been trying to hit the gym real early because that gives me a lot of time to do everything else in the day. And besides that, most of the people that go to CBJ, which is my gym down in uh, McGregor, essentially only goes probably like, I mean like the whole population of CBJ is so large that you've just got a huge range of people going from like morning to night time and I swear, I swear, I swear, sometimes I see those people going twice a day as well. So there's like your usual Afghans and all that, those jackass Afghans, probably a bit high in fat percentage and all, but those are really nice guys who are like benching 120, 140, 160 for like reps and everything, and you, you can never tell if these guys are on steroids or not, because you know, they just, they just eat so much, you know, and it's, it's all good, it's good to be strong and everything, it's none of my business, but there's, that's what one population of the gym. And then there's your classic Asian dudes, there's like the occasional jacked as fuck Asian dude who looks small as hell and you're wondering like what's going on there. And then there's there's just the usual skinny Asian dudes as well because the sub I'm living in right now is actually pretty much, well it's Sunnybank but it's pretty much pure sheer Asian Chinatown kind of shit, you know. There's like Vietnamese town as well, just throwing a bit of Korean town as well but that's literally what Sunnybank is. So yeah, like where the gym I go to, it's like a bikes right away. So essentially there's so many Asians as well there. And yeah, it's just literally Asians and Afghans in this gym that I'm going to. There's an occasional white guy that comes in, like Carlton Loft. But Carlton's probably the most jacked dude. Besides that, I don't see too many jacked white dudes going there. Like, it's just the sheer amount of Asian and Middle Eastern population just pushes out everyone else. But yeah, besides what I'm going to do right now is... um. When I finish this little pre-workout I've got in my little bubble tea cup and then after that we're gonna pack my bag because today is chest and shoulders day. <laughs>